Thank you for joining me. This is Will from W3 Productions. And this video will be about how to change the skin tone of your dad's character so that you can get a little bit more variety from your characters without having to pay for a whole new, new character out of the dad's store. So this works mostly with the eye ray shaders, not so much with the 3DL shaders. So be aware of that, but you can use it on pretty much almost all the Genesis generations of characters. So right now I have a Genesis 8 Mayo loaded up. Um, just a basic Mayo with um, a, an outfit. And what you do is you go to surfaces on that properties panel with your character selected and we make sure you select the character make the bring down the drag down go to skin lips and nails you want to change all of those and you're going to look for a property called translucency weight now i'm going to go ahead and change this from textured view to nvidia eye ray so you can see the changes right away before I do that, I'm going to change my render settings so that it won't take up so many resources or I just want to verify what my settings are right quick. So I'm going to go to NVR iRay, progressive rendering. I'm going to change the max samples down to 100 because we don't need that many and go to filtering and post denoising available. Make sure that's on, make sure enable um, denoiser is on. I learned that tip from Solomon Jackway. Anyways, um, going back to my character and going to NVIDIA iRay. See if I can zoom in a little bit. I'm looking for the translucency weight and push it up to a number like a little bit over 0.79. You can see it gets a little bit more red and it's um, basically making this color bleed through a little bit more, a little bit darker. So sometimes, most times this color is white. In this case, uh, on the base Genesis character is not. So you can play with this value. I'm just gonna make it darker. And there you have a different skin tone. Um, and you can play with these. Sometimes you can, it's one or the other, but translucency weight and translucency color. Um, another value you may want to look at is transmitted color because sometimes that bleeds through some skin shaders. Um, that color really bleeds through. It doesn't affect this one that much. But you, if you notice a lot of red in the character, you can change um, these other values. Um, so there we have, just with the skin tone by itself, we have some differences. And just very quickly, I'm going to pull up a plugin that I use for the face transfer. Um, there's an additional tr uh, plugin from Phil W for face transfer shapes that helps um, adjust the face transfers plugin and I use that to get a more um, facial structure variety I'm just going to do that as an example you don't you mean these skin tones already been changed but just to make the character look different and there's other plugins that can do the same thing so I'm just going to select the head go to head go to real world I'm going to change this value and then I'm going to change African, oops, African face up a little bit and older face up a little bit and maybe square face a little bit and we basically have a new, a new character from the Genesis 8 character. So that's about it. Just want to give you that quick tip of how to get a little bit more variety via different skin tones. And hopefully this helps you out 
especially if you're designing on a budget. Thanks and have a blessed day.